to scale their e-commerce brand past 50,000, 100,000, even $1 million a month with Google Ads, you have to stay up to date with the very latest Google Ads changes. And because of these changes and some of the new strategies, we have completely changed up our recommended Google Ads account structure, which I've been originally using and recommending. Now, before we actually get deep into the structure, let's go over when you should or shouldn't even be using this kind of structure for your e-commerce brand. Ideally, and a structure like this one is best used for those e-commerce brands which have already gotten some decent results. If you're not already at that level, you want to maybe go and watch some of my other videos to get to this level where you're fine distributing budgets, where you even have a decent amount of budget, anything more than $3,000 to $5,000 a month. That brings me to the next point on the list, which is actually the structure which I used to recommend. Now, if you watch my old video on the perfect structure for Google Ads, that was the video where I said something along the following, where shopping campaign should get 70% of your budget, a search campaign should get 25%, and the other campaigns like Display, Discover, YouTube, they should get whatever of the budget that's left out. And things have changed a bit drastically in 2023 and onwards. And this has resulted in the new structure which I'm using, which is known as the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your budget should be going towards those 20% of your campaigns, which are bringing in majority of the new results. When I say new results, I'm referring to new traffic, cold traffic or potential cold traffic. But the reality is that is still a very surface top of the level approach because now what you want to do further is you want to further apply the 80-20 rule with your entire campaign approach. Meaning, 80% of your campaigns should be cold traffic campaigns, while 20% should be only warm or respiring or potential experimental campaigns. To kind of illustrate further, I'm gonna go inside this ad account where this is exactly in play right here. So if we rank it by the cost and we look at this month for the month of August, so basically August 1st, so August 29th, we can see this account has spent roughly $55,000 so far. And if we look at some of the campaigns, we can see these top two campaigns have taken a majority of the ad spend despite 80% of the campaigns being cold traffic campaigns. So in total, there's 10 different campaigns running here and eight out of those 10 campaigns are actually cold traffic campaigns where only two of these campaigns really are just campaigns like branded search or campaigns like retargeting. Very basic, but it's following this 80-20 rule. And what has happened is Google has already applied this 80-20 rule to the campaigns themselves. It has taken 80% of the budget and distributed it to the top two campaigns, which represents 20% of the overall campaigns we have running. So in total, if we just open up our calculator really quick here to do some basic math, we can see the top two campaigns spent $24,580 plus $15,489 for a total of $40,000. And in total, these campaigns have spent roughly $55,000. So if we divide it by $55,502, this gives us roughly 72%. Now, the 80-20 rule, it can be changed a bit. It can be 70-30, or it can be 90-10. It really fluctuates. But these top two to top three campaigns, they're representing about 80% of the total ad spend distribution. And this is how the campaign approach works. If we kind of take it up a level and we now go into the actual approach, the way it works is 80% of those campaigns, which are cold campaigns, cold traffic campaigns, should be a mixture of three different campaign types, shopping, search and YouTube because these three campaign types are known to be the best when it comes to generating cold traffic and generating sales from this cold traffic. I'm gonna give you a very basic example of how things would be if we were to run with say a $500 a day budget. 80% of that budget of $500, that should be going towards those cold traffic generation campaigns. So we already know cold traffic generation is things like shopping, is things like search, 
is things like YouTube. So those are the three campaign types where we would be distributing 400 out of that $500 because that's 80% of 500. And the other $100 which we are leaving for retargeting purposes or for experimental purposes, we can now apply the 80-20 rule there as well, where maybe 80% of that goes towards experimental campaigns like shopping campaigns, search campaigns, or even further use of campaigns. And then the rest of the 20% goes towards campaign types which are known for brand awareness like display and discovery. But really kind of honing in with that 80-20 rule and distributing that account budget properly to get that perfect account structure. But this is pretty much the same approach we are taking with so many of the brands we're handling under my Google Ads agency or marketing, which by the way, if you're doing $40,000 or more per month in the revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen.